Hello, we are discussing about gate 2015 ECE paper. A 1 to 8 demultiplexer with data input D in and address inputs S0, S1, S2. Out of that one S0 is LSB, S2 is MSB. And Y0 bar to Y7 bar are the 8 demultiplexer outputs. That is designed using 2 to 4 decoders, the circuit is given. So for PQRS, PQRS. So what you are going to connect out of D in S0, S1, S2, how you are going to be connecting those values at the PQRS such that this circuit is acting as 1 to 8 demultiplexer. You know the operation of demultiplexer. Demultiplexer is 1 to many. A DMUX is going to be having only one input. Okay, so this is 1 to 8 DMUX. It has only one input that is we are assuming it as D in and there are eight outputs. One is input, eight is output. Eight outputs and each eight output is going to be given the value 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is with complemented outputs that is active low outputs and this can be written as Y0 bar y1 bar similarly the last one is y7 bar so this input has to be connected to only one out of these eight outputs which output is selected to connect it to the d in is decided by the address lines so to specify address location of one particular output out of eight it requires minimum of three address lines those three address lines are given as s2 s1 s0 Okay, so if S2, S1, S0 values address line is going to be given as 0, 0, 0, then output is nothing but D input is connected to Y0 bar. Okay, so Y0 bar output is equal to D in, which output will be equal to D in is Y0 bar is selected and D input is connected to that one. And if you are going for 0, 1, 0, then y2 bar is selected and d in is going to be connected to y2 bar if it is 111 then y7 bar is selected and d input is connected to y7 bar this is the operation of demultiplexer so we have s2 s1 s0 and d in as inputs and those values you are going to connect it in places of pqrs such that this circuit now you can think in this way This circuit is acting as 1 to 8 DMUX. So this outer block is nothing but 1 to 8 multiplexer which has D input S2, S1, S0. And there are 8 outputs. Those 8 outputs are nothing but Y0 bar, Y1 bar, Y2 bar, Y3 bar, Y4 bar, Y5 bar, Y6 bar, Y7 bar. So simply you are connecting those things. So outputs of these two decoders are going to be act as outputs of demultiplexer such that output requirement is completed. So output requirement is okay. Now if you know the operation of decoder and the difference between decoder and demultiplexer then we can easily finalize PQRS. Okay. So demultiplexer is having the inputs as D input S2 S1 S0 which you are going to be connecting in places of PQRS. Now, let us assume we are going for the 2 to 4 decoder. Decoder is, it decodes the information in one form to other form. Whereas, 2 to 4 decoder is specifically making, whenever there is a binary data present in, present with two inputs, and that will be converted into equivalent decimal number at the output. So, binary to decimal conversion can take place. But, whether it has to perform its decoding operation or it should not perform that is decided with the help of enable signal this is enable and these are the inputs okay so these are input signals and these are output signals so if inputs are going to be say this is a0 and a1 okay a1 is msb a0 is lsb and these are again Y0 bar, Y1 bar, Y2 bar and Y3 bar. So, if enable, 
this is enable signal and enable signal is active low signal active low means whenever uh, enable is zero then only it is performs decoding operation otherwise it doesn't perform any decoding operation output depends on input only when enable e enabled only the chip is enabled the chip enable is taken with the help of enable signal so a1 and a0 and based on that one this is y0 bar y1 bar y2 bar y3 bar y3 bar is msb remember this one and y0 bar is lsp so if enable is given one but actually what it requires active low enable so enable has to be zero for proper operation so no operation takes place whatever the values of a1 a0 y0 bar and all are going to be at zeros this is what disable operation so decoder operation is disabled decoder operation is enabled when enable is equal to zero so this is normal decoding operation if you zero if you give zero zero that is y not bar is selected that will be at zero and all others are at once since they are active okay whenever you are not supplying anything at that time it will be given as one 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 outputs outputs will be one 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 and whenever it is enabled zero for zero zero combination y not bar is selected and that particular value will be at active low and all others are going to be at active high since the outputs are active low okay and if you are giving one more combination as one zero then this y2 is going to be selected okay and y3 will be zero if you are going to give one one at that time okay one one if you give all are going to be zeros except one last one that is y3 will be selected this is what operation enable is equal to zero means normal operation of decoder enable is equal to one means disabling the decoder operation since enable is active low condition now if you check 2 to 4 decoder and 1 to 4 demultiplexer so right now we have seen the operation of decoder so this is decoder operation and now we will see the demultiplexer operation so 1 to 4 demultiplexer 1 to 4 demultiplexer will have only one data input and it will have four outputs and two address lines two address lines now these are address lines so simply demultiplexer and decoder performs the same operation if inputs of decoder okay address lines are going to be given as if address lines are given as inputs for the decoder and enable this d input is going to be if you are giving it as enable and outputs is same as outputs then a decoder is going to be performing demultiplexer operation okay so with the help of this operation with the help of this one we are going with the straight lines So first we are going with outer 1 to 8 multiplexer outer 1 to 8 multiplexer uh, D multiplexer so it has one is D input D input has to be common for both decoders because it is 1 to 8 decoder 1 to 8 demultiplexer out of that one it will have only one d in and that d in has to be connected for both d to 4 decoders because this is going to be acting as above four zeros that is y0 bar y1 bar y2 bar y3 bar and this four is for the lower four bits so total is nothing but eight outputs total is eight outputs these are upper four bits and these are lower four outputs so d in has to be connected to both so enable signal look at the enable signal and that should be given the d input 
so enable signal is connected to p and q and if you are coming over here enable signal is connected to p and q okay so and this p is going to be directly connected to enable signal p is directly connected to enable signal through our gate so there is no inversions are taking place that is readily p is directly taken so this p will be treated as d in so d in is connecting to enable d in is connecting to enable next q r s can be select lines okay now address lines of d multiplexer that is select lines of d multiplexer is going to be acting as inputs for the decoder so there are three address lines for a to one d multiplexer one is s2 s1 and s0 s0 is lsb and s2 is msb so if you are going to check 000 001 so if s2 is 0 if s2 is 0 at that time first four outputs will be selected first four outputs that is y0 bar to y3 bar will be selected one out of that one so if s2 is equal to 1 then next four bits that is last four outputs are selected last four outputs is y4 bar to y7 bar is selected so s2 value is differentiating between enabling of upper decoder or enabling of lower decoder so s2 is equal to 0 should make enabling of above decoder s2 is equal to 1 should make disabling of uh, first decoder that is enabling the lower decoder so whichever value is going to be connected to both this is q is going to be connected to both enable so q by applying q a proper value that can be able to enable or disable the operation of decoder okay with the help of r and s you cannot enable or disable so with the help of q you can make enable or disable so q must be equal to s2 so if you are connecting q to s2 s2 to q then enabling of above or below is in our hands next even though s2 is equal to 0 the first four decoder is going to be that is above decoder upper decoder is selected okay above or upper decoder is enabled and which output is selected is going to be decided by the s1 and s0 values s1 and s0 values so s1 is nothing but a1 you can think s1 value is connected to a0 a1 and s0 value is connected to a0 here also s0 is connected to a0 s1 is connected to a1 so s1 is going to be connected to s and r is s0 so if you connect in this way then this diagram is going to be act as 1 to 8 multiplexer so p to d in q to s2 r s0 and s s1 so the right option for this one is p q r s okay this is d p should be connected to d in and s2 should be connected to q s0 should be connected to r s1 should be connected to s then 1 to 8 multiplexer operation can be performed with the help of this circuit thank you